Now we'll discuss about the infectious agents. Okay. So under this you have virus, bacteria, fungi and worms which causes different types of diseases. Now viruses which cause different diseases under that you have common cold, influenza, AIDS, SARS. What is the full form of AIDS? Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. SARS, Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome. Okay. Swine flu, corona, polio, maladies. <coughs> other than this, other than this, you have mumps, measles. These are also caused by virus. Now bacteria, typhoid, cholera, then tuberculosis, tuberculosis, then tetanus, bacteria. Bacteria, then peptic ulcer also, acne, etc. Okay, then fungi. Under fungi, you have ringworm, ringworm, and athlete food. Athlete's foot, skin infection, then protozoa, protozoa also you have, protozoa also, virus, bacteria, protozoa are unicellular, whereas fungi and worms are multicellular, okay, then protozoa, the protozoa you have, plasmodium, so, Carbonium causes malaria. A vector is passing it, that is female anaphylos mosquito. Okay. Plasmodium, then trypanosoma. Trypanosoma causes sleeping sickness. Lishmania causes colors causes colors only two three are enough. Now let us discuss about the worms. Some diseases which are caused by worms. Now, worms like filariasis by Mucheria bancrofti, Mucheria bancrofti. This is also filariasis or elephantiasis. Elephantiasis. In this, what happens? Leg swells like an elephant leg. Okay. Pyloriasis. Then you have ascariasis. Ascariasis. By roundworm. Roundworm or ascaris. Roundworm. That is ascaris. This ascaris is found in the human beings and other animals. Okay. Then you have teniasis. <coughs> Teniasis is the name of the disease, Ascaris is the name of the disease, Pyrosis is the name of the disease. By, it is caused by tapeworm. Okay. When uncooked pork, pork is eaten, then Teniasis may occur. Okay, that is caused due to tapeworm. Okay. Now let us discuss about the factors. Factors which causes the diseases. Okay. 
Now, as you know that this agents, this agents, that is bacteria, virus, these are microorganisms. Bacteria, virus, and protozoa. They are unicellular. Okay. So they have more or less they perform similar metabolic activities. But when you take it separately, then the activities are totally different because their biochemical reactions or mechanism is totally different from each other. If you take only bacteria, all the bacteria will show the same activities, more or less. But when you study about the bacteria and the virus, two different factors or two different groups, then what you find? Bacteria, its function, bio, biochemical functions or biochemical pathway that is taking place inside it and the biochemical pathway that is taking place inside the virus that is totally different okay different from each other in bacteria what do you find they have a cell wall they have plasma membrane and they may have flagella some they may have or some they may not have but they do not have a nuclear membrane for that they are they are under prokaryotes okay they are the primitive type of organisms and this bacteria so what is needed the study of the organism is very much essential for what for the treatment so that when you study about the organism then only you can think of the treatment how to treat that organism or how to control the spread of that organism for example if we are introducing antibiotics what are antibiotics Antibiotics are the medicines which control. Anti means against. Biotic means life. Bios means life. The materials which are against life. So in this you have penicillin was first discovered by Alexander Fleming from the fungus that is penicillium. So what was found this penicillin what it did? It did not allow the, it inhibits inhibits the formation of formation of cell wall where in bacteria so when bacteria was treated with penicillin what was found when penicillin was introduced in bacteria when the bacteria are growing when it was introduced it was found that the bacteria cannot increase in number why? Because it was unable to form the cell wall and cell wall is very important for the survival of the bacterial cell. So in this way, what, what happened? This antibiotic, it helped to control the spread of the bacteria or to control the growth of the bacteria. So like the penicillin was one antibiotic and other than that, ciprofloxacin is one kind of antibiotic which control the DNA replication. Cipro Floxacin it inhibits inhibits DNA replication. Okay, when this antibiotic is given, then it will not allow the DNA to replicate or increase in number. Then one more is this streptomycin. which controls the growth of the bacteria okay these are the different types of antibiotics these antibiotics will act only on the bacteria okay but if you get infection like common cold and if you're taking antibiotic will it work it will not work because common cold is caused by virus and the virus is a completely different it is having a it is a different group of organism and its mechanism is totally different that we'll discuss now so this virus if you get common cold and if you're taking antibiotic it is not going to cure because the common cold is caused by virus whereas along with the common cold if you have some infection bacterial infection in your body then it may affect 
then it may affect only the disease that is caused due to bacteria but it will not cure the common cold okay so specific medicine is effective only on the specific group of organism so if you are taking antibiotic it may control the bacteria of the other species also not only one type of bacteria it can control the growth of the other bacteria also because more or less all the bacteria they have the same mechanism so it can control a variety of bacteria in your body if for one type of infection you are taking if some other infection is also there because of bacteria that that also it will control but it is not going to control the infection caused due to virus okay this is about the medicine so the medicine that you use that will control the spread of only a particular group of organisms or only a particular disease okay it depends on the factor which is causing it now in our body what happens interferons interferons are developed what it is interferons when you get some viral infection interferons these are anti viral anti viral proteins okay in our body when you get some viral infection naturally it develops interferons that is anti viral protein what it does it controls the replication of virus it will not allow the virus to grow that is naturally formed in our body in our immune system when you get fever that the more interferons are developed in our body so it helps to control the infection but if the virus is too much too much virus has grown then it may not be effective okay so interferons are developed naturally in our body now one more thing earlier peptic ulcer it is given in your book peptic ulcer was considered to be caused due to acidity but later on it was found that peptic ulcer was caused due to bacteria what was the bacteria that caused peptic ulcer caused by bacteria later on it was discovered that peptic ulcer was caused by bacteria who who warren and warren and marshall marshall these are two scientists who found that peptic ulcer was caused by bacteria not it was earlier it was thought that this peptic ulcer is caused due to the acidity due to the lifestyle when more acid or due to the stress when more amount of acid is liberated and uh, then due to peptic ulcer uh, you have st- uh, abdominal pain and sometimes bleeding in the abdomen uh, or stomach so when this scientist when warren what he did when he studied the lower part of the stomach he found that some bacteria are present in the human being who so were suffering from peptic ulcer then when he studied this bacteria and he grew and he did the culture of this bacteria then he found that this peptic ulcer was caused due to bacteria not because of stress or acidity ha uh, okay so pep- later on marshall and warren they got nobel prize also for this for this discovery and later on they found that by introducing antibiotics this peptic ulcer it could be cured it could it would take time but it could be cured okay so up to here today